All right, what's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're doing the next video in my 007 Agent Under Fire walkthrough. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. Hope to get there by the end of the year. We are on Poseidon, getting all the platinum, or getting the platinum level, which is getting all the little gold 007 icons. I'll tell you where each one of them are because sometimes these FAQs for some games that are older than YouTube themselves are not very good at showing where to get this stuff. So we're gonna do it here. Um, yeah, so we first start out, there's one right here, right off the bat. It's odd because they give you an armor thing here with, when you're full health, but it's because they stick one of those in there. <laughs> it's weird. Um, I guess if you get hurt by all these guards, you can come back in here, but like, you're probably not going to get hurt by a lot of guards in this place. At the beginning, at least. So we're going to come across here, we'll move this way. He's got a clearly has a revolver, so we're gonna move. He's gonna eventually turn towards me. Should I pop him right in the face? There we go. That was not really in the face, but that was pretty much the neck. It's fine. So now we'll. What we're gonna do, and this is what I did last time, is open the door and then just throw a nade in here and wait. That should kill both of them. Now we're gonna use this Q decryptor on this. Make sure they're both dead. One, two, yes. Now, once this door opens, we're going to throw a nade in here. There's one guy in here, too. And the grenades, since they're golden, they do a million damage. So. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, well, we're starting because I don't. I can't believe that. I don't want to waste. You don't want to waste any grenade ammo because you're eventually going to come up against some crazy dudes. So, I like to use the grenades against those armored dudes that come up through the little shark pin things. So, save your nades. But I like to use them in those situations just to take no damage. Because it's unnecessary damage. They're, they have the advantage. Both those two dudes have the advantage on you in every room that I'm looking at. So you might as well just throw a nade in. I'm just surprised that that did not kill that guy. So let's silence this. Let's do this again. Because this is pretty easy. You just kind of wait till he walks into your frame. And then you just shoot him in the face. <clears throat> Let's just do this one first because this is easier. My controller is a little bit. No, I think my controller is okay. I thought it was panning up just a little bit. I think it might be, but it's fine. Alright, so let me try to throw that further in the room because apparently he lived. Lob it because he's behind the desk. That should have killed him. Like, see what? Ugh, let me just one more time. All right. So while we're while we're failing at this epically, so we have the next one is when you enter the program room, look to your right. So I have no idea. Sorry, I, can't find I have no that. idea what the program room is. My stupid watch just spoke to me. <laughs> anyway, leaving it in. But um. Surprised that that dude's not dying from that. Maybe I should go for him first because maybe he gets aware because of the nade row in the other room. I don't remember what I did last time, but um, <clears throat> hilarious that he's like throwing a golden grenade into that room and he's just like, "What's up?" Also, he would totally see me here. Like, this is so obvious. Like, look, there's a dude in here, but he's like, "Huh?" And then he dies. So we'll go ahead and go for this guy first this time because I actually don't remember if I did that the last time but maybe I'll just throw it to the side this way he does run to that box <laughs> okay so that worked <laughs> all right so the second one says when you enter the program room look to the right I was curious if this was it and it's not this is not the program room we're gonna pick up the uh, p90 ammo there just share Everything's chill here, so let's go ahead and come in here. Get ready. And nade that guy. That guy dies normally. Like, what? How are these people living this crap? Wait, am I having a harder difficulty? I don't know. But, um, this is crazy. Like, that nade should have killed that guy. Like, that dude was closer to it than the other guy. So, what? Anyway. Maybe it's, I don't know if I have it on a harder difficulty or something. I don't think I do. But, um, oh no, I do have it on Agent. I've had it on Agent ever since we, uh, got a perfect score on that other level and then 
it like still wasn't good enough. I've actually been, I have upgraded it to agent, but still, that, that should kill those people for me. We're gonna wait. Before we laser that little lock, we're gonna shoot that guy in the face ish. I think it also counts as an efficient kill if you throw a nade, because then they like die without you shooting a bullet. One round of damage there. I think that should do it though. How are you alive? I'm gonna punch this guy out. I mean, that is insane that he lives. But I'm not gonna throw another grenade at that. That's ridiculous. So now we're gonna move to the program room, which I don't even know what that means, but maybe this. So what does it say? Yeah, this is these things are so bad at giving instructions, so I'm just gonna like look at it and then figure it out with you alive. That's just what I do. Um Poseidon, into the program room, look to your right. Alright. That was crazy though, those two dudes. Oh actually. That hurt me a lot, actually. <laughs> now let's get the revolver out and pop this last guy. He's pretty tanky as well. Just shoot him right there. Um, excuse me? Alright, this this is this is outrageous. I definitely think I hit the him with that first bullet. Again, we're just leaving it all in because this is stupid. Like this kind of stuff. Like, I just don't understand sometimes when that, like, I mean, it's an old game, so you have to kind of just roll with it sometimes. But if you're going for platinum, it's, it's fun, but it, yeah. Um, so I definitely went through this a lot when I was doing it before, so I'm, I'm not going to be as highly standardized by it. But, like, obviously, if I fire the Viper, which is, you don't get another one of those. And it's pretty cool how he's holding it like that, because they clearly want you to, like, see that he has a revolver um i'm shocked that these people are living these fights though it's like how so if i can like head to the side hey, you, out, out, out. see that does it like no are you kidding i, I mean okay I can't keep getting hung up on this, but I'm just like, how did that, how does this stuff not kill these people? Oh, wrong one. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not super worried about it. So, <clears throat> we'll keep moving through it. Eventually, I'm just going to stop trying to be all flashy. I'm just trying to be flashy. It's pretty fun. But, um... And again, it's not like super necessary that you kill the dude that's in that decryptor room, but he does have, there's two grenades in there, so it's, it's worth it to go into that room. See, that just goes so swimmingly well if you just... Well, sometimes that dude lives, and maybe it's like a distance thing, like if you draw far enough away, it like doesn't know that he got hit by a nade or something, and that could totally be it. Stir the time as well. Okay. okay, that went well. Alright, well we did it. Okay, now that's hopefully the only time we ever have to, we don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> but, um... So in theory, what you're supposed to be able to do is like two-shot the armored guys if you shoot them in the face. But there's weird collisions with some of these things in these rooms, and it doesn't work all the time. Which is why I was like annoyed by the thing not working. Whoa. Okay, well that went... Alright. 
You can see that. The, can I not get this? See, there were some weird collisions in this game. For example, I just threw a grenade at this little thing and it exploded. So just a heads up to that. I don't even know where the other guy's P90 went. Okay, flew over to that. So I, I can't pick this up apparently, but that's a pretty nice view. Very low poly, but you know, they, they put some effort in there. All right, so now I come in here. We're still looking for the program room, whatever the heck that is. I don't know what that is. Okay, so yeah, there's some weird collisions on this level again. So let's just throw a nade at him. Me too. I think he lived, which again blows my mind. Oh no, he's dead. Okay, good. Um, program room. I don't know what that is yet. But I'm gonna just do a very thorough check of everything because I'm gonna figure out what the heck that is. Because again, once you get past certain points, okay, now I can pick that up. <laughs> that definitely was shifted. Y'all can attest. That was not where that was. All right, so now we're gonna head into this place. I guess this is the program room is the room with all the switches, which we're gonna activate. So we'll try to get these done. So that's not going great, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, so it says, when you get into the control room, look to the, oh, here it is. So that's what they wanted me to look at. So we got it. Um, normally you can kind of silence your way through that, but of course, nope, <laughs> not this time. But I did get all headshots eventually, so it worked out. Yeah, we're gonna come over here. There should be dudes that spawn behind you. Maybe when I do this first thing. My hope is to be able to shoot that little thing when they try to come through. So let's do that. Really? Come on. Give me this. There we go. Now let's see. Anyone? No? Eventually they do chase behind you, and I was hoping that I could shoot that little barrel. This is stuff I'm just figuring out along the way here. No? Really? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> We're figuring it all out. They do spawn eventually. Maybe not. at this point you know when you get the when you get the gold you're gonna get a million points anyway so it doesn't really matter so I found the program room one now and let's see what else does it say in the reactor room with the auto guns it is just around the back of the stairs I think I know exactly where that is so I'm gonna push forward a little bit here's the UGW which is basically the AUG and it's really good um, it does some work. I don't even know where that other ammo just came from, but I found some other ammo for this thing. It's pretty nice. Um, let's see if there's any, there's an armor behind that. And I guess we'll just go ahead and go for this dude. And aim for his face. Just do it manually. Eventually he does it. He has enough hands, headshots and he's shooting like an idiot. So you kind of can just, you can kind of just do that. It's fine. Can you jump over this? Yes, you couldn't jump that. All right, so he opened the door for us, so thank you. Very, uh, very henchman of you to let me in completely in a very great way. All right, so now we're gonna come in here. It's right behind these stairs right here, I believe. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna run forward and trigger the auto guns. So 
Let's just do this. Okay, well, apparently it doesn't do it. They're apparently also shooting at me. And them. Oh, they kill it every... Oh, they, kill... they left one guy alive. Okay. Let's get this verification code. That's important for the next level. Now we'll just move. Eventually the guns get deactivated. I don't know what makes them get deactivated. I think it just does it over time. All right, there we go. Should be behind, yes, okay. So we got him. I think everyone else in here is dead, which is good. Oh, no, this guy's still alive too. Let's see if he actually pops back around. He might not. I think I'd switch to the PS100 just to get rid of this guy. Alright, so now we did that. What does it say now? It says... Um, reactor with auto guns is behind the door. It is behind the stairs, which I just did. At the beginning of the sub pen, open the door to the right where armor is. On the left side of the sub pen, when you reach the far end, go left around the corner behind the barrels under the stairs through the gate. That is a mouthful. Okay. Someone should come through here. Actually, I think I can decrypt with this and someone will come through. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit and use the UGW. I got a few headshots in there, so it did a lot more damage, and then that's fine. So now we're going to come up these stairs, and we're going to go into the sub pin that says, on the right, open the door to the right where armor is. Okay, that's just like, what? What are you even telling me here? So we'll see if we can make that happen. All right. So now we're going to come up here. There's snipers up here, so we have to be very, very careful. There's one right there. Shoot through that? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Hold on. Back up. He just threw a name. Yep, there it is. Alright, there he goes. Good to get rid of him. Now let's move a little bit. Let's actually back up just a little bit more so he starts to aim away. alive still. There you go. I was like, I'm just gonna keep burst firing until that guy dies. There's one more. I don't know if he actually can shoot me through that. There we go. Apparently there's one in here. Alright, we got it. There's that dude. He's just shooting at nothing. And then something about, and there's the last one. Okay, so let me make sure. I just took damage, but it's fine. So that was four at the beginning of the sub and then on the left side of the sub where you reach the far end, go left behind the, go left on the left side of the sub pin when you reach the far end, go round left corner behind barrels or under stairs through grate. That makes no sense, but there is one right there. And so I'm gonna go for that. There we go. We got him. So I don't remember what this does, but it gives it gives me a bond move for some reason. I don't know. What did that even do? It just lower that. So I guess that counts the bond move. That's that's not really impressive. That's just doing the objective, I guess. So we got rid of all that. 
We're gonna move over here. I think more snipers spawn, more people spawn eventually. Oh, there they are. Wow, that was really obvious. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get him and get him. I don't think I can even go over there and get those guns. Pretty sure I can't. And so I know the last one is right below that. I was kind of hoping that I could see that, so it was cool that they put it in a place that you could see it. Is that from the enemies? Spawn. No? No? Move forward. Trigger it. There they go. Okay, let's back up. Go I'm so slow up those stairs. Unbelievable. All right, let's shoot this barrel right here. Should get rid of that. I didn't get rid of him. Wow. He lived that too. Wow, well done. Okay, so. Wish I had. Oh, I do have more grenades. Okay, here. Nade it. Catch that for me. He didn't. He's just running around like a crazy person. He's underneath me. Oh, now I see what he was kind of letting me see this. And now I see what he meant, what it meant by underneath the grate. Because it's like you can crawl in here and it's right here. But you can also just walk behind that. You can just shoot those explosion -y things and then you're good to go. So I have all five. That should be it. The guy right here. Pop him with the cool revolver that we have. So we should have all five. I'm gonna move up. There should be more. I think there might be more enemies, or it might just be over. Because we did kill everybody. Oh yeah, here they are. Alright, so let's go ahead and shoot that. Get rid of him. Now he's just like completely exposed. So let's go ahead and shoot him a couple times. Pop him. Just like, who cares at this point? There's somebody who's shooting at me. Oh. Somebody way over there. I actually don't know where he is, but... Oh, yeah, see him up there. <laughs> I just saw him the last second. So there we go. That should be all five. There should be five. That's what it says online. And again, it is totally potentially wrong and all that stuff. But... Yeah, and the auto guns were supposed to trigger sooner and kill everybody in there, but instead didn't, and they came running to me, which like doesn't really make any sense. So, right, I've seen this. If you want to see it, go back and look at last week's video. It's hilarious, a hilarious quote-unquote sex scene in a 2001 video game. So enjoy it. But um, yeah, there's the five. Kill all the enemies. Very inefficient with my at weapons. Took a lot of damage. All that crap doesn't matter because then you get platinum. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next week, we'll go through uh, Mediterranean Crisis. So hope you all enjoy that. It'll be fun. Thank you guys so much. Peace.